Hello, sis D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I got some news on Starfield. I got some news on some brand new technology that will make its way to the game and as well Xbox. Now, today we're going to start off with some Starfield news, and this is coming from Mads. Shout out to Mads. Now, he tweeted out yesterday that FSR 3 could help consoles get more frames in very demanding games like Starfield in the future. I just hope it doesn't make games too laggy. Now, I will address that a little bit right now. Uh, it's been on the record by AMD that FSR 3 will indeed introduce more latency. So you're going to get a higher frame rate. It's going to look smoother at the cost of latency. Now, I know they've been working on this for quite some time, so I think they're trying to get the latency down as much as possible. Now, if you've ever played DLSS 3, you also know that there is some latency in there. But I will say that DLSS 3 has gotten better over times. And in some games, it's actually playable. Like, I mean, I can tolerate it. I'm not so put off by the latency. Now, of course, playing DLSS 2 games or playing it natively, you're gonna get a better experience. I would say even sometimes DLSS 2, you get a really smooth experience just like you do at native resolution. It's just not there with DLSS 3. And I think we're gonna get the same experience with FSR 3 as well. Now, of course, we're gonna have to wait till it comes out. Now, this article that he was referring to is coming over from PCGames.com like usual. I'll leave a link in the description down below. But before we get there, let's just get into some of these comments. Now, I hear somebody said, wait, who said it's coming to console? And I gotta say, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that in the past when this was announced that I did indeed say that it was coming to consoles. Now I'm gonna refresh your guys' information where all of that came from, and let's just go over to it right now. And if you look here, you say AMD FSR 3 will work on Radeon RX 6000, possibly NVIDIA RTX GPUs as well. And this is coming from hardwaretimes.com, a very reputable site. Now, when they did their keynote address, they actually said that this will be supported on older hardware. Now, the Xbox Series X, as well as the PlayStation 5, they are RDNA 2 at their cores. So the GPUs should be able to use this technology. Now, I know that Microsoft and Xbox, they work together on a host of things, so I can 100% say that this is definitely coming to the Xbox consoles. As well, they're trying to get it to work on NVIDIA RTX GPUs as well. And if it's on the RX 6000, that means that there is a version of FSR 3 that is not using any type of machine learning that needs dedicated hardware, which of course would make it work on these next generation consoles. Now I know the Xbox Series X, it has some hardware in there dedicated to machine learning. I don't know if it's quite equipped to do the machine learning that we get with DLSS 3. However, time will tell once this gets onto the next generation consoles. Now, the article says the upcoming third iteration of FSR will work on existing Radeon cards and comparative GeForce offerings. AMD's Frank Azor revealed this in an interview with PC World. According to the Alienware founder, FSR 3.0 isn't a reaction to DLSS 3. Instead, he explains AMD's open source approach and stated that the designing an advanced upscaler with an inter-frame interpolation isn't something that can be done overnight. So this was the reason why it was delayed. It was supposed to come out with the 7000 series GPUs from AMD and it was actually delayed. And the reason why they delayed it is because they wanted to get it working on more hardware. And this is going to be open source. So hopefully this will get adopted quite quickly. Now I know FSR 2, I complain about it all the time that developers don't use this but this may benefit the next generation consoles because it'll help games get to 60, perhaps to 120 FPS without sacrificing graphic fidelity. Now let's read his exact quote. He says, FSR 3 is not a reaction or something quick to DLSS 3. It's absolutely something we've been working on for a while. Why it is taking a longer time to come out than you probably expected, the most important thing to remember is that the philosophy of FSR and FSR so far not only work on RDNA 2 or RDNA 1, but also other generations of AMD graphics cards. They also work on the competitor's graphics cards, and it's exponentially more difficult than if only we could make it work on RDNA 3. We really want to work on something 
other than RDNA 3. And of course, the benefit of this for AMD would be the next generation consoles. This would help sell more consoles. And the more consoles that these uh, companies, Xbox and Sony sell, the more chips they're gonna order from AMD. So it is in their best interest. And this is the reason for its official delay. Now let's fast forward till today. And we see that this is rumored to now come out with Starfield. Now this is coming from PCGames.com. Like usual, I'll link it in the description down below. Now the article goes on to say a leak points to AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3 launching falling September, meaning that Starfield could be one of the first games to support this feature. News on AMD's FSR 3 and the company's fluid motion frames has been thin on the ground, but this may all be set to change soon with the arrival of Starfield. Now it appears that AMD may be gearing up to push Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3 into the world and that Starfield could be the first game to support it. And I gotta say right now, AMD is really going all out with its Starfield promotions. If you buy one of their processors, if you buy one of their GPUs, you will get the game. There are custom GPUs for Starfield in this whole campaign. So I gotta say that AMD is really pushing Starfield and we're starting to see more advertisements for Starfield and I really like to see it. Now we got a couple more weeks until this game comes out. So I hope they ramp up the advertisement even more. Now, if AMD's FSR 3 is going to be launching with Starfield, this will be huge. It will be monumental. If it can launch on the Xbox series consoles at the same time, this could be a very good tool to sell more Xbox Series Xs and Ss because this will increase the performance. Yes, we're gonna take a hit to latency, but I always say that options are a good thing. If you don't wanna take the hit and you'd rather play it at 45 or 30 FPS, then you'll have that option. If you wanna play it at 60 FPS and you're not too worried about the latency, then you have this option if it's made available on the Xbox. And I gotta say that would be huge for Starfield because we know this game is running on the Xbox Series consoles at 30 FPS. And I have to assume that AMD FSR 3 would get this running at 60 FPS at the bare minimum. And that would be fantastic for the game. I think that'd be fantastic for the launch of AMD's FSR 2 because you would have tangible results that you could physically see. And you could say this technology is taking that game from 30 FPS up to 60 FPS. Anyways, I find this really interesting. Now, in the next couple of months, it looks like AMD is going to be launching some other 7000 series cards. And once again, if FSR 3 is available, it's going to help these cards outshine the competition. Now, one area where AMD lags behind NVIDIA is not just in ray tracing, but also in their AI technology. They don't have any type of AI upscaling. They have a very good algorithm. I will say that FSR 2.2 is pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Now, does it compare to DLSS 2? In certain games, it does, but I gotta be honest, DLSS 2 is still superior, and that's because it is using AI. It's using motion vectors. Now, if AMD can provide a similar performance with FSR 3, then I think it'll be a hit. Now, there might be a situation where we have two versions of FSR 3, a different version for the consoles and a different version for the 7000 series cards because I know those cards have some accelerated hardware on there and the AI could definitely use it. And this could be a solution to them not having uh, FSR on the same levels as DLSS. Now, we're gonna have to wait to see all of this play out. I don't know everything that's gonna happen. We're gonna have to wait for the demos just like you guys. I'm gonna have to wait for the information from AMD. But what I can say, it does appear that FSR 3 is on its way. I do expect it to work on the next generation consoles. And I do expect that we're gonna get an announcement quite soon, I would say in the next two months regarding this. Now, I hope that this information is correct and this is launching with Starfield because that would be huge. Anyways, I wanna know what you guys think about all of this. Do you think that FSR 3 is gonna make an appearance on the consoles? AMD has said they want it to work with older hardware. They say it'll work with the 6000 series from AMD. The Xbox series console uses an RDNA 2 GPU. 6000 series is RDNA 2. Therefore, AMD's FSR 3 should work on the Xbox series consoles. 
What are your thoughts of this being implemented into Starfield? Do you think that this technology will launch with Starfield? And if it launches with Starfield, do you think it will be on the Xbox Day 1? Let me know all of your comments in the section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.